A day in the life of King Edward the Seventh. King Edward the Seventh, also known as Albert Edward, was the eldest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. He ascended to the throne on January the twenty second, nineteen o one, after the death of his mother. Here is a hypothetical day in the life of King Edward the Seventh. Please continue to support my channel by subscribing. King Edward the Seventh wakes up in his private apartments at Buckingham Palace at seven a.m. His valet would then attend to him and help him get dressed for the day. The king was known for his dapper sense of style and was often seen in tailored suits, waistcoats, and top hats. After getting dressed, the king would have breakfast, which was usually a light meal of eggs, toast, and coffee or tea. He would then spend some time reading the newspapers to stay up to date on current events and meetings with his advisers to discuss matters of state. As the king of a vast empire, he had a wide range of responsibilities, and his daily routine was often shaped by the needs of the country. During his morning meetings, King Edward the Seventh would receive updates on the economy, foreign affairs, and other important matters. He would also consult with his advisers on matters such as military strategy, trade policy, and social reform. The king was known for his diplomatic skills and his ability to forge strong relationships with other world leaders. Overall, the king's morning routine was a mix of official duties, personal grooming, and leisure time. As a monarch, his schedule was highly regimented, and he had little free time to himself. However, he enjoyed the company of his family and friends, and was known for his love of good food, wine, and conversation. At 8 a.m. after breakfast, King Edward the Seventh would typically spend some time reading the newspapers and meeting with his advisers to discuss matters of state. This was an important part of his daily routine as a monarch, as he needed to stay informed about the latest development in politics. Economics and international relations. During his morning meetings, the king would receive briefings from his top advisers, including the prime minister, foreign secretary, and other members of his cabinet. They would discuss a wide range of issues, such as foreign policy, trade, defence, and domestic affairs. King Edward the Seventh was known for his active involvement in politics. And he would often use his influence to shape policy decisions. He was particularly interested in social reform and worked to improve the living and working conditions of the working class. He was also a strong supporter of arts and culture, and he encouraged the development of music, theatre, and literature. Overall, King Edward the Seventh's morning routine was focused on staying informed and engaged in affairs of the state. He was a diligent and conscientious monarch who took his responsibilities seriously, and he worked tirelessly to promote the interests of the country. At 10 a.m., King Edward the Seventh would typically receive his daily briefing from the Prime Minister and other government officials. This was a crucial part of his daily routine, as it kept him up to date on the latest developments. During these briefings, the king would receive reports on a wide range of issues. He would also discuss any urgent matters that required his immediate attention, and he received updates on ongoing initiatives and projects. As the head of state, King Edward the Seventh played an important role in shaping government policy. He had a keen interest in international relations and worked to maintain good relationships with other world leaders. He was also known for his efforts to promote social reform, including improving working conditions and expanding access to education. In addition to his official duties, the king was also a patron of the arts and a lover of culture. He supported the development of music, theatre, and literature, and was a frequent visitor to art exhibitions and cultural events. King Edward the Seventh attends to his royal duties around 12 p.m., which include meeting with diplomats, receiving visitors, and signing official documents. His schedule would often include attending official engagements or events, 
and as the head of state, the king had a wide range of responsibilities and his daily routine was often shaped by his official duties. During this time, the king might attend meetings with foreign dignitaries or diplomats, host luncheons or dinners for visiting heads of state, or preside over ceremonies and public events. He was known for his charm and wit, and he was a skilled diplomat who could put others at ease. When the king was not engaged in official duties, he would often take some time for leisure activities. He was known for his love of outdoor sports, such as hunting, shooting and fishing, and he would often spend time in the countryside pursuing these hobbies. He was also an avid sailor and enjoyed spending time on his yacht. The king was known for his love of good food and wine, and would often indulge in long lunches or dinners with friends and family. He was particularly fond of French cuisine, and would often host elaborate dinners with French wines and delicacies. Overall, King Edward VII's daily routine at 12pm was a mix of official duties and leisure activities. He was a skilled diplomat and lover of culture, and was known for his ability to balance the demands of his royal responsibilities with his personal interests and passions. At 1pm, King Edward VII's daily routine would often include taking a break for lunch. The king was known for his love of good food and wine, and he would indulge in long and elaborate meals with family and friends. The king's meals would typically include multiple courses and fine wines, and he would take his time to savour each dish. During lunch, the king would often discuss politics and current events with his guests. He was known for his charm and wit, and would use these qualities to put his guests at ease and engage them in lively conversation. At 2pm, King Edward VII's daily routine would often involve attending to official duties, such as meetings with government officials or members of the royal household. As the head of state, the king had a wide range of responsibilities and he would often use his time to catch up on admin tasks or engage in discussions about important matters of state. In addition to his official duties, the king was known for his interest in military affairs. He would often meet with military leaders and review reports on the status of the armed forces. He was particularly interested in the development of new weapons and technologies and would use this influence to support research and development in this area. The king was also a keen supporter of charities and philanthropy. He would often use his position to raise awareness about important social issues and support initiatives aimed at improving the lives of ordinary people. At 4pm, King Edward VII's daily routine would often include taking some time for leisure activities, such as pursuing his love of outdoor sports or spending time with friends and family. The king was known for his love of hunting, shooting and fishing, and would often spend time in the countryside pursuing these hobbies. When the king was not engaged in outdoor activities, he would often spend time with his family and friends. He had a large social circle and was known for his charm and wit, and would use these qualities to entertain his guests. At 6pm, King Edward VII's routine would often involve attending social events or hosting dinners and receptions at one of his residences. As a monarch, the king had a large social circle and would often use his time to entertain his guests and engage in diplomacy. The king would often host lavish dinners and receptions at Buckingham Palace or one of his other residences and would use these occasions to showcase the best of British culture and hospitality. He was a lover of fine food and wine and would use his position to promote the interests of British farmers, winemakers and other producers. At 8pm, King Edward VII's daily routine would often involve winding down from his busy day and enjoying some relaxation time. The king was known for his love of cigars and would often retire to a smoking room or lounge to enjoy a smoke with friends and family. 
He was also a lover of literature and would often spend time reading books or discussing literature with his guests. In addition to his relaxation time, the king would also attend to any official duties that required his attention. He was known for his diligence and work ethic and would often use his free time to catch up on admin tasks. The king's evening would often involve spending time with his family, including his wife Queen Alexandra and their children. He was known for his devotion to his family and would use this time to catch up with them and discuss their daily activities. Overall, the king's daily routine at 8pm was focused on relaxation, family time and attending to any official duties that required his attention. He was a hard-working and diligent monarch who used his position to promote the interests of his country and engage with the people from all walks of life. At 11pm, King Edward VII's daily routine would often involve retiring to his bedroom to rest and prepare for the next day. Before going to bed, the king would often spend some time reading or writing correspondence. He was known for his love of literature and he would read books late into the night. The king's bedroom was a private space and he would often use this time to reflect on his day and plan for the next. He was known for his sharp mind and attention to detail and would often use his nighttime reflections to identify areas where he could improve his work or better serve his country. In addition to his personal time, the king would also attend to any official duties. He was a hard-working monarch who took his responsibilities seriously and would often use his late night hours to catch up on admin tasks or engage in discussions about state. King Edward VII was known for his love of socialising and he often attended balls, dinner parties and other social events. He was also a patron of the arts and a lover of good food, wine and cigars. While this schedule provides a general idea of what a typical day in his life might have been like, it's likely that he had many variations and surprises to his daily routine. Please continue to support my channel by subscribing. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories and leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them.